So with Grand Summoner's fourth anniversary special broadcast, we now know who the actual any unit is. No more speculation. We don't have to worry that it's Emperor coming too soon. We finally know for a fact that it's Simon. And we actually talked about this in the most recent video. And if you'd like to know a full detailed breakdown of Simon or what I think of the fourth anniversary special broadcast, you can watch that video if you want to. However, there was one thing that I saw in the comment section of that video quite a bit. And I was like, you know what? That would make a pretty good video topic, which was, should I wait for Dark Haruto or should I summon for Simon? And to understand this fully, we have to understand both kits. So if we actually look at Simon and Dark Haruto, they're very, very similar in the sense that Simon and Dark Haruto both deal the big deeps. However, they're different. Simon is a ramping damage dealer or can be a ramping damage dealer. He also can lower the enemy's dark and physical resistance with his true art. And he has 100% defense ignore plus accuracy up on his phantom bullet. He's not really too special in terms of his mechanics or anything. He doesn't have any type of unique mechanic and all that. He's just pretty much, hey man, I deal damage and that's it. However, if you look at someone like Dark Haruto, Dark Haruto is a little bit more unique in this regard because Dark Harto actually has the bleed mechanic. But Dark Harto has a chance to inflict bleed on the enemy. He can inflict bleed up to three times. If he does, each bleed stack results in 3% damage resistance down. He's also able to increase his own arts by 20 whenever he uses actual art and increase everybody's skill CT. His true arts able to increase everyone's crit damage. And then his phantom bullet is a little bit weaker than Simon's, but he also reduces the enemy's dark resist by 50%. And he increases crit rate against enemies with three stacks of bleed, increase damage against enemies under 30% HP by 80%. And when near death, you increase arts by one. So the kids aren't too different from each other because at the end of the day they're both trying to just deal damage dark harto is magic simon is physical which is quite a big difference as well because in order to compare which one's stronger which one's going to hit harder you also have to think in the equipment level as well and also the team comp level there has been so much magic support that's released within the last six months that it's stupid literally every other day we're getting something that's going to break magic damage dealers even more if you're looking specifically at nuking and not like just using them as an attacker 24 7 then i think harto wins in that regard there's just so much support for magic damage compared to physical damage and grand summoners at the moment however as an individual nuker like if you just want someone that can hit extremely hard on your team and you don't care about other buffs or anything else then simon takes the crown but what about in sustained content simon actually has ramping damage in his kit with his art every time he uses it he increases his own damage by 30 up to a maximum of 240 percent however this ramping damage can fall off which is very weird because most ramping damage dealers it's usually a passive stack that goes onto their character and they can't lose their buffs unless they die simon however can lose it if you don't refresh it every 20 seconds dark heart toe on the other hand has no way of ramping damage at all or if you count his bleed stacks technically he is then there's no way dark heart toe could compete in a long-term fight against simon so sustained fight slash raw damage output yes yeah, simon takes the cake Harto, unfortunately won't be able to compete on an individual level. I mean, who can blame him? This boy watched his wife literally die right in front of him. If I had to pick one for someone to go for, it's very difficult because I don't know exactly what everyone is looking for. But I guess the best way to do this is think of it kind of similar to how Dark Kane or Togoro or whoever else, Saitama, you know those guys are just dealing deeps. They're not doing anything else, not really helping their team in any way. And that's kind of what Simon is. He's a damage dealer. He does have stuff that can help his team because he has like dark and physical resist down and stuff like that. However, he's mainly focused on himself. Now, Dark Haruto though, a little bit more caring, you know, a little bit more outgoing. Kind of cares about his team a lot. So on an individual level, Simon is better as just the nuker that doesn't care about anyone else. Haruto though, I think is overall better in the grand scheme of things because like i mentioned before he could just go for a lot longer plus he doesn't have to rely just on his own damage he can help buff up other people's damage and even though that phantom bullet modifier is lower than simon's there's a chance that it still might hit harder than simon's due to the fact that there is so much more magic support nowadays than physical support so which one should you go for it's really up to you i don't think there's necessarily a wrong answer here I think it's just more so who you prefer. If you want just a nuker and that's it, and then I think Simon's that. If you want like a nuker hybrid type of deal going on, Dark Harto's that. However, with both these characters that I mentioned before, they're not necessary by any means. They're not on the level of someone like Earth Harto, Mako, something like that. So you could easily skip both these characters and be perfectly fine in the game. You don't need them to clear any content or to do anything specific at end game. Tell me down below which one you guys are going to be going for. As for me, I'm going to try to get both, but I think the one that I really want myself is just Simon just because I like his design a little bit more. And also while you're down there, you could tell me which one you prefer and which one you think is better than the other. If you enjoyed this video, I recommend checking out either one of these videos popping up on your screen right now. Very good Grand Summoners content. If you enjoyed this, I promise you're going to enjoy these just the same. And oh yeah, before you leave, don't forget to drink water.